So guys, dead airspace is a concept that you have a mask and this diaphragmatic side is the area where a lot of air that you already exhale, air that, that was inside of your body is still in there because when you breathe, you only exert certain amount of pressure on the air and the air has to exit through the um, the thickness of the filter of the mask and what that means is that a lot of old air gets trapped inside this area this zone so what I'm trying to do here is I'm gonna try and reduce this area it happens also in cloth masks and uh, in 95 masks that's why the mask gets so damn hot so we're, we're, we're what we're trying to fix here is that we're gonna make the mask smaller and we're gonna try and put a make the mask inside aerodynamic I studied aircraft mechanics so I kind of understand this cuff if you guys don't understand it please ask questions or Google YouTube videos there's plenty of explanations the idea is so the air the hot air the contaminated air from those from our own body can exit to one place so without much effort from the person that's wearing the mask so I can breathe and, and put that air that contaminated air naturally like it like right now I'm breathing and my air comes out naturally the contaminated air comes out naturally and just goes away and that's the goal here we want the, the mask to be able to throw outside the contaminated air and leave the pure the new air just have only pure as much as possible clean pure air from the outside that has been filtered by the N95 filter so that's that's the idea that's the goal guys that's what we're trying to do here so I'm I, I'm working on the flap trying to 3D print it but the problem with 3D printing stuff is that the tolerances I just bought a caliper and stuff for you guys that are engineers uh, and the tolerances in the 3D printers everything has a everything has this this is exaggerated obviously but if you can see here everything has the small ridges so we're not gonna be able to achieve a 100% off seal to exit that air at least not with FDM I'm, I'm gonna try and see if there's other alternatives to sealing the FDM but there's, there's, right now there's really not anything else out there um, other than SLS uh, laser sintering correct me if I'm mistaken and um, the thing is that with, maybe with laser sintering we will be able to make the mask seal better because laser sintering has a mic micrometer precision FDM does not have that it only has precision in millimeters so the, the surface area will have imperfections and we need a, a really perfect surface area that we can achieve on the computer but it's almost impossible to achieve in a 3D printer. So what I'm gonna try and do here guys is that I've noticed that the best that the printer can do is when the surface is flat. You guys might not see it but down here ignore all the stringing I am fixing that. There's a lot of trouble to start a 3D printer shop. Below all the stringing here there is a decent uh, surface area that has a limited amount of artifacts so it will be like 50 or 60 percent guys uh, efficient not what I'm aiming for I'm aiming for a complete hermetic hermetic seal on the bulbs so when you breathe in you're only breathing pure air and when you breathe out you're only breathing you're only you're exhaling everything all the all the contaminated air from the body everything comes out but the problem is that with FDM fuse the position modeling printers they're not able to do that sadly I wish they were able to do that that would be fantastic but sadly they're not so 
but as you can see guys, the surface finish here is very good. Maybe I can solve this problem by calibrating the printer and hopefully uh, we can make a profitable 3D printer shop. That's the goal of doing this, uh, this videos also. Not just, obviously, first it's to help people with this better masks and then obviously we need to make money because we can't help anybody without money. We can't even eat. So that's the thing here guys. Um, sadly that's how capitalism works. I wish we could just help people and forget about the money but we sadly we gonna, we're gonna need money for running the printers, the electricity, everything else. So that's it for today guys for, for now. Right? I'm not sure if I'll probably make another video soon, but hope this was useful and I really would like to hear from you guys how can we continue to improve our COVID-19 masks because right now the masks that we're using are just a joke. This is a joke because like when you wear this thing, air comes in from the sides here and this side. It doesn't matter if you restrict your blood flow and do this air is still gonna, it's not, it's not efficient. Yeah, you can buy other masks and, and try different models and blah, 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 but it's not efficient. It's not, it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a very effective COVID-19 mask because we don't know if in the future we might have uh, worse viruses. So we need a real mask that can really seal. This is a joke, this is an N95, but or a surgical mask, or both, I, I don't remember, but they're all similar, they all work, work the same way. So let's build a better COVID-19 mask. I'm asking all of you scientists over here, over there, uh, in Puerto Rico and outside in the States and everywhere in the world, let's make a better COVID-19 mask because the ones that we have right now are a freaking joke. And uh, yeah. That's it. So, uh, like I explained, guys, we're trying to make a sealed, a better sealed valve. So when you breathe air, the air that you breathe comes in completely fresh and new, and the air that you exhale comes in, it comes out completely out of the mask. That's a problem that we have with most masks today. That this cavity over here it retains old dirty air from your body and you need to exert a lot of pressure from your lungs to expel a bit of that air of that old dirty air and that is not effective we need a solution that is more effective that you can clean the air more effectively that you can exhale all the dirty air as effectively as possible and the only way we can do that is with valves with one wave one wave air valves and i'm trying to start a 3d printer shop that's profitable because we need profit in order to help people sadly that's how capitalism works and uh so guys i'm doing this uh open source so let me know how we can continue to improve this and make better covid 19 masks so this is the new design that I made. This is gonna be the flap, this thing over here. This is gonna be the flap. And this is the thing that's gonna, when you intake air, it's gonna get sucked back and pushed into this wall here. And yeah, I'm filming with my phone. I can't record the screen, I wish I could. Um, so it's gonna get stuck here and in theory, the air suction will stop um, the air from continuing. It's going to seal here. So the air will not come in, thus making a better COVID-19 mask because it will only allow hot air to enter, to exit through one place. and cool air will enter from another place so there will not be dead air space something that is very bad and a lot of masks have it it's the 
if you Google that, it happens to people that are done.